Okay, so this video is going to be on gradient intercept method of sketching. There are two ways to sketch a linear graph. The first way is gradient intercept, which we're going to be learning at today, and the next video will be on XY intercept sketching. Before we look at the sketching um, of gradient intercept method, what we're going to do is we're just going to quickly revise on what we need to know with um, linear formulas. So, uh, if you remember from class, the general equation, general equation of a linear graph is y is equal to m x plus c. Now, there's two things we need to take from this equation: this thing right here, and this thing right here. This thing right here, hopefully you've remembered that M is otherwise known as the gradient. And that's also known as the rise over run. And this last bit here, the thing that's tagged onto the very end, is known as the y-intercept. Okay. At this stage, you don't really need to worry about the x we well, need to worry about the y. They are merely placeholders for other values we're going to be plugging in uh, later on down the track. But for now, the key things that you need to take apart from this actual equation is that M stands for the gradient and C stands for the y-intercept. Now, let's move on to sketching. So the first equation that I'm going to get everyone to sketch is this the graph of y is equal to 2x minus 5. Now with the graph of 2x minus 5, we're going to sketch this using gradient intercept form. So the question might ask you, sketch using gradient intercept form. Now, when you're solving these questions, there's two things, again, that I've told you that you really need to dissect from this. One, what is the gradient? Okay, the gradient is otherwise known as the rise over run. And what is the gradient for this specific example? Now, if we refer back to the previous slide, the gradient is always, in this in this general equation form, is always the number in front of x. So let's go back to this question. What is the number in front of x? We have 2. And 2 is another way, another way of saying 2 is 2 over 1. Because 2 divided by 1 is 2. But for this case, I just like you to write it as 2 over 1. You'll see why in a second. The next piece of information I need you to do is to actually tell me what the y-intercept is. So the y-intercept, if we go back to our general equation, you can see that the y-intercept is just the last number that pretty much doesn't have an x on it. Now, it's got plus c at the end. If you look at the question that we have, it's got minus 5. So in this case, we need to adapt that. The y-intercept for this example is minus 5. Okay. Now that we've got these two pieces of the puzzle, we can start graphing this. One, step one, you need to start on the y-intercept. So if we're going to start on the y-intercept, we always need to make sure that we look at this specific value right here. Where do we start? We start where y is equal to minus 5. So let's go down the list, let's see where does y equal minus 5. And we can see that y equals minus 5 right here. So I'm going to put a dot right there, just to denote the fact 
that this is minus 5. Now, you need to look at this next bit. 2 over 1. Well, what does rise over run mean? If you remember your definition from rise over run, it means for every 2 that you go up, you go 1 across. For every 2 that you go up, you go 1 across. So now that you have your starting point, let's read the rise over run. For every 2 that you go up, you go, so every 2 that you go up, actually sorry, I'm going to quickly erase this, because that was kind of a... So every 2 that you go up, so we're going to go up from here, every 2 that you go up, you go 1 across. I'm going to put a dot at that right spot right there. So if you start from here again, 2 go up, 1 across, draw a dot. We can keep following that pattern, so we go 1, 2, 1 across. These are pretty much just instructions. 1, 2, 1 across. 1, 2, 1 across. So you'll notice that when we actually look at the path that we're drawing, Okay, we're following the same path from every previous point. So what I can do now is I can just join the lines. Okay, and we've sketched a linear graph. I do apologize for the uh, the actual uh, line here. I don't have a ruler on me, and this is on a tablet, so which is why it looks a bit wonky. Let's look at the next question to hopefully consolidate this. So the next question I would ask you to draw is, can you sketch for me y is equal to minus 3x plus 2. So again, the key parts you need to consider for this question is, what is the gradient? The gradient is known as the rise over run. And what is the gradient for this question? It is the number in front of x, don't say 3, you make sure you include the sign, so the gradient in fact is minus 3. And so minus 3 can be written as minus 3 over 1. What is the y-intercept? Okay, the y-intercept is just the last number here. So the y-intercept will be Now let's go to our question. This point will always be our starting point. So let's look in the y-axis. Where do we start? Well, we start right here. So 1, 2. Sorry, I'm going to draw a dot right there. Okay, that's our starting point, 2. Now I'm just going to switch colour. So our gradient is minus 3, 1. So that means every time we go down 3, what we do is we go across 1. So starting from our starting point now, I'm going to go down 3. So I'm going to go down 1, 2, 3. And now that I've gone down 3, I'm going to go across 1. I'm going to draw a dot right there. Okay. And then I could keep going on with that pattern. Every time I go down 3, 1, 2, 3, I'm going to go across 1. Okay, And you can see after I have at least two points, what I can do is I can join the lines and extend them through. And what I've done is I've drawn a linear graph. Okay, Let's keep looking at a few more examples. So this next equation that I have for you is y is equal to half x plus 1. Hopefully by now you can predict what I'm going to ask for now. The first thing you need to be writing down is what is the gradient? The gradient is known as rise over run. 
And what is the number in front of x in this case? It's not 1, it's not 2. It's actually 1 over 2. Now we don't need to do 1 over 2 over 1 in this case. What we can do is just going to leave it like this because it's already in a fraction form. So that's good. So what we can do now is go on to the next bit. What is the y-intercept? What is the y-intercept? 1. So where is our starting point on this graph? Where would we start? We start on 1, right there. Okay. And what does our rise over run tell us in this case? So our rise tells us that every time every time we go up one, what are we going to do? We're going to run across two. So let's do that. Run up one, and I'm going to go across two. One, two. Okay, and I'm going to draw a point to mark exactly where I am. Okay, so I went up one, across two. Now I could keep going on, but remember the status, the um, the requirements for uh, linear graphs is that all you need are two points to join a line between two points. And then from here what we can do is we can just extend with a ruler. So if you've got a ruler, I don't have a ruler on me at the moment because I'm using a tablet, so we can extend from those two points. And there we go, we've sketched a linear graph. And let's look at one more example. So our next example is y is equal to minus 2 thirds x. Now, hopefully by now you can predict what I'm going to say. What is the gradient? The gradient is equal to rise over run. What's the rise over run for this example? Minus 2 thirds. And what is the y-intercept? Okay, this one's a tricky one because there's no plus c here. And if there's no plus c, our y-intercept is in fact going to be 0 because there's no plus anything here. So it's going to be plus 0. But remember, plus 0, we usually just don't even write this plus 0. So what's our starting point? Starting point is going to be at 0. Okay. And what does this gradient tell us? Every time we go down 2, we go across 3. So I'm going to go down 2, so 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. I'm going to draw a dot right there. So after I've got those two dots, what I can do is I can then join those two lines. Okay, that was a terrible line. Make sure that they actually join up. So you can draw, again, terrible, but you get the picture. Just make sure that those two points are actually on there. So the key points, again, let's look at what we've done in the previous questions. Firstly, we've worked out what the gradient is. Then we worked out what the y-intercept is. Part 1, start on the y-intercept, 2, you go up for every run. Okay, so for example if you have 2 rise, you go up 2 for every one you go across. For this question, we went up, we went down 3, for every one we went across, we went up one for every two across, we went down two for every three we went across. After you have those two points, join them up together and extend those two points. And it's as simple as that. Hopefully this does help.